we're staying under the bridge. And yeah, we stay uh, like almost 16 years here. I get pregnant here under the bridge. I was born under the bridge and they grow up here. My oldest son, Nathan, they call him Beto. He likes to play soccer. Nine-year-old Nathan Mitas discovered his love for soccer under this bridge. One day, a group of children living in the area invited him to join their practice. I think it was about four months ago, three, four months ago. I came up with a couple of kids and then he asked, hey coach, can I knock around here with you guys? I said, sure, come on. And then we were standing and watching him. Like, hey, there's something different about this boy. It was only after practice that the coach found out Nathan was homeless. And after training, we normally drop all of the kids at home and stuff like that. And then he was one of them in the car and then they were giving us directions to his place. And then we're like, okay, but this is under the bridge, man. It's like, yeah, and he got out the car and he's happy and he ran to his daddy and his daddy picked him up and like, ah, touch it, you know. Nathan has since become a regular, not only at practice, but also at league matches. And for a few hours a week, the boy has the chance to live somewhat of a normal life as he kicks a ball to his heart's content alongside other children his age. It's Friday, they go practice, Saturday is first up like five o'clock and he said, Mommy, the coach is running away from me. Then he, he told me I must wash him even. He just stand up like he comes sleep like Friday. <laughs> but then he go with the same clothes Saturday. He, he told me he want to, want to wash his face because he wants to run for soccer. Nathan's mother says she's trying to give her children the best life she can. But so far, her search for work has been fruitless. The family gets by on handouts from the community and the soccer club. Louise Mitas is determined her children won't live like this forever and is hoping to enroll Nathan in a school next year. As for Nathan, he has his sights set firmly on a future in football. My coach learned me everything how you must play the soccer and dribble and kick ball. And I'm bigger, and then I love to play soccer, and I love to score goals. And judging from his enthusiasm, he is already well on his way. Robin Smith, Cape Town.